the next ratio that we are going to calculate is fixed asset turnover ratio. How to calculate fixed asset turnover ratio is sales by average fixed assets. Right? Now, <clears throat> for a given sales, let's say there is a sales of 100 and fixed assets of 15. So, so let's make it a round number. You have fixed asset of 20. So with 20 rupees worth of asset, you have generated a sales that is 5x times of this assets. So you are with just 20 rupees of assets, you have generated 5x time of sales. So to put it logically, for a given sales, if the numerator is constant, you want this assets to be as lesser as possible. You want to be an asset light company. So if you have lesser assets and produce same amount of sales, then you are an efficient company. Similarly, if you for a given asset, you want your sales to be as high as possible. With 20 rupees of asset, rather than producing 100, you may want to produce 200. So that with the same amount of asset, if you are generating more sales, then you are becoming more efficient. So as a result, like any other asset turnover ratio, we want the fixed asset turnover ratio to be also as high as possible. Alright? So let's go ahead and calculate this ratio. We know the sales already. We have it here for both the years. When you go and see the assets, these are fixed assets. But within fixed asset, we have something called intangible assets. An intangible asset and this one intangible asset under development are not physical assets and hence they will not be really counted as fixed assets. So you have to really exclude this intangible assets when you are calculating fixed asset turnover ratio and use only tangible assets and capital work in progress. Right? So let's go ahead and calculate this <coughs> numbers. So average of the tangible asset plus capital work in progress for last year and for this year's values. So you get average fixed asset of 70,652 and 80,699. If you calculate the ratio sales divided by average fixed asset, last year it was 0 0.78, this year it has become 0 0.77. So honestly speaking, this ratio has changed very little. So you can say that when it comes to fixed asset turnover ratio, the company's efficiency has remained almost same. Right? So with the while the sales have increased, the asset have also increased and hence the company's efficiency has remained almost same. This is how you have to calculate and interpret fixed asset turnover ratio.